So the role I've been doing now for the last decade or more is all about observing how people form partnerships. How do you encourage people to network with each other? How do you start to highlight some of the, the reasons why partnerships work or don't work? And you try and therefore, on the course, try and bring some of that element to the students where networking is a good thing, it doesn't have to be scary, and, you, and it's about building confidence. It's about enthusing them that actually creating a can-do attitude. I can do this, I just need to find the right people to do it with. I've been in communications for the last 20 years. Firstly as a journalist, I was a financial journalist for Reuters and Dow Jones. And then for the last 15 years I've worked on the agency side, so working with very, very large pharma companies down to very small startup biotechs uh, to help them with communications with their investors, with regulators, with the people who end up paying for the drugs. I think my skill set, if you like, I'm trying to, to pass on on the course to complement other guest speakers is really about how that, that partnership building works. How do you find partners? How do you work with them? How do you choose the right ones for you? And that works as much about finding an employer that's right for you as your partner in this as it does about finding partners who can help translate your technology. The way the course is put together uh, really opens new horizons for everybody involved so it takes them through all aspects of the bio industry and I think for a lot of people it's very obvious that a sort of light bulb was going on where they suddenly saw that their skills could take them in different directions and that's got to be very helpful. Employers like qualifications you know I think qualifications open doors whether it's MSc, PhD, um, MBAs they, they attract attention it, it gives you a credibility that says I'm, I can do this I've shown understanding of this at a quite an advanced level. You've got a very high level of students and I particularly like the mix of PhD students and the master's students. People were very uh, engaged, involved and interested and uh, I did feel that they were taking something valuable away from it. I think it's one of those things that, particularly courses like this, so you could be doing your PhD as your day job if you like and not really thinking outside of that. The pattern that Birkbeck gives you is the opportunity to complement your skill set. And everybody's career is, a, is opportunistic. It depends on the right opportunity coming up. The courses that Birkbeck offer and in the format outside of the core day mean you can give yourself all the skills to take the opportunity. And that's all you can hope for.